Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ra and this is a reading for Taurus. Hello Taurus. This is a reading for June 20th for the total solar eclipse in Cancer. Cancer's new moon are all about fresh starts, new beginnings, and is just a beginning starting to feel inside you. Cancer is a water sign, so it's all about your emotions, how you feel. So a new way of feeling inside of yourself, your home, feeling differently, how you see yourself from the inside out, from who you used to be. This solar uh, new moon is also about building your life on a different foundation. Home is cancer. Moving home, changing things in your home, in your family dynamics, and so on. So a solar superpower, the new moon, it gives it more significance. Why? Because it is a massive emotional shift in cancer and will be with us for many years, which changes everything about your life, Taurus. The first card out is a soulmate relationship. New romance with a spiritual basis is here for you. And we will take this card, which is empowerment. You are more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. We're going to pick another card from the Ask Your Angel Oracle. And that one was from the Mermaids and Dolphins by Doreen Virtue. And this one as well is Ask Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. Let's see what we have here for Taurus. For What is Taurus bringing in? So, so far, maybe you're bringing a couple that is very much in alignment. Two people that are, that are here to empower each other and really move forward from a place of empowerment. I'm going to take this card, notice the signs, and release and surrender. So, this card states, yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. Okay, so maybe you've been questioning a relationship. The angels and guys are giving you that. And then they're also saying release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. So there's a feeling here that maybe you're questioning a relationship, whether a relationship is for you or whether you're to move forward within. This could also be, oop, this card fell. So let's see, let's get a little bit more light on that. Page of Fire is the, yeah, Page of Wands, outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. So news of an exciting new endeavor, use your originality and uh, ingenuity. Again, pages are on uh, fresh starts. Then we do have the hermit, although it did come out in reversal, is because the hermit does not need to stay in. It's time to come out. So maybe you've come out from a time of staying inside, and now that you have come out, um, you're ready to get back out there and to meet people and also to um, maybe possibly start dating if, if this is in regards to a relationship because you've come out from spending time in meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. The hermit goes within to integrate light from the dark and it comes out with a rebirth, right? Because after that, after the hermit uh, comes out... It, the wheel of fortune comes and that's when everything turns so the hermit has done his work right he has already gone within let's see from the energy deck here what card wants to come out to give us a little bit more clarity for taurus we're going to take this card had just come out so it's about recognizing the cycles okay and we have the card of deceit when this card comes out, the card of the seat is talking about, you know, if there could be somebody who is not wearing a, uh, a mask, um, who is wearing a mask, and there could be also when we deceive ourselves in not seeing the cycle. So if there's a pattern that's going on within a relationship, notice it and stop looking the other way. You want to look at what is it that you are releasing. And with the hermit card, 
you clearly get to see what is it that you are letting go of, right? So this is not allowing anybody to deceive you any longer um, if it's regarding a relationship. So this is manipulation of some kind. And this is just a card that's warning you that there could be some deception going on in your life. And the person's behind the curtain, right? There's a, this man that's behind the curtain here. Likely someone you know or you deal with. Um, it could be personally. It could be professionally with this card. So somebody may not have the best interest at heart here. And uh, just about... Just be on the lookout, and if you're feeling that something is off, whatever it's about in your life or yourself, remember that the universe has your back and is sending you signs of what and who it is that you are to release. So it could be that you are to release a relationship, okay, and to regain your power back um, and to recognize the signs that you are receiving at this time. Um, I'm going to pull a John Holland. So you're releasing any things that have been hidden from you. You're in a lot of release, releasing deceit, releasing um, the, the, the darkness. You're recognizing signs. You're looking at patterns. You are looking at your relationships. Uh, and we have, this card has just been so popular. The open up card, again, this is seeing everyone for who they are. And as you are being yourself, really recognizing who other people are, you're not here to change anyone, win or lose. Wow, what is going on here? I'm just going to have to go, you know, for this one, I'm going to go directly to the deck for you. I've not done that with any of these other cards right now. Uh, for all the readings that I've done, but yours is a bit, um, so it's about at what cost, I feel like, what is it that you want to let go of, and I feel like, uh, what is it that you need to let go of, let's see, number five, let me go to number five, with win or lose, and okay, so this card is talking about ego, detach, love, disagreement, so it says, often in matters of the heart, people find themselves in disagreement, set against one another in a battle. Ah, there you go. That opens up really recognizing another. Um, you can't change somebody else. And this is, you know, is there somebody that's hiding behind the curtain of who or what they really are or how they really feel? So the love in the relationship is forgotten in the desire to win. But when there's a winner, there's also a loser. The partner are no longer equals and the relationship can falter or completely break down. And this is what I am seeing here. And you know, in the beginning, this card was in its reversal. I put it in the upright and I'm getting this message as the, ah, okay. But going back to the winner lose card, this card is saying, do your best to remain detached. Solve disagreements in a way that makes everyone a winner. Find the middle ground. This is not the end. In the end, it's not winning that matters. It's the love. So if you feel that somebody has lied to you or there's a pattern or something that is gone that has deceived you, you know, um, this is about really releasing and letting it go. So maybe this is the way you have been within relationships, whether it's you who's been deceitful in relationships and you've been found out, or if it's another that's been um, like that, this is a time for you to completely clear things up and to bring harmony and balance back into your home, Taurus. And the card that comes out, power and this just came up for Sagittarius so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius but this is also about the lightning that's striking and really coming in alignment with your own truth and with your own power so this is coming back to that it's almost like you're regaining your strength if somebody told you that um 
you were not right about something and you go to find out that there has been deceit and lies and then you find out that no, you are. So then it's your time. Now it's your time to claim that power back and to step into your own potential of who you are. Let the world hear your thunder, your voice here, right? And this is also about just sharing your passion and teaching from your heart by writing with your words and um and just this is about your whole incre it's like <sighs> take your power back within a relationship and really speak your truth okay you've come out you you've had to take a time out to kind of to kind of be able to open up and to speak with truth and your clarity. So this is not about, it's not about lashing out. So the way that you're going to do things differently with this solar is really speaking your truth for balance and harmony to restore within your relationships. And really now what you have learned is noticing the signs that your guides keep sending you. So you are really releasing some things that were disempowering you within the past. And I'll just take that card, sacrifice, there are those worth making, and then there are those that will destroy you. So, yeah, wow, that's beautiful. And that is, Taurus, what are you willing to sacrifice? You know, are you, you know, what are you sacrificing? If you're sacrificing your own happiness and your own truth for another after any lies and deception and patterns, then you must look at what is it that you're sacrificing. And with this new moon, are you willing to let go, to step back into your power and reclaim yourself? And this is what I see for you. Until next month, happy solar. Namaste.